So here is an ad. We've got more 5G spectrum than anyone else. 5G will save lives, propel humanity forward, and usher in the utopia that will solve the literal hot mess we're in. I don't believe that ad was taken down, but this one was. This is another one from Electrosensitive, Electrosensitivity UK, just uh, I think last month. It says, how safe is 5G? And uh, it has quotes from Dr. Martin Paul. Um, you know, I can't read because the way the cursor is here, so I can't actually see my slide for some reason, but I'm seeing it over there. Um, and quotes about the scientific research that the rollout is insane and that we need to, to halt it. Um, and according to the UK Ad Council, consumers would understand from the ad that there was robust scientific evidence that demonstrated negative human health effects caused by 5G. And so that was just um, banned in the UK. Now you can go online and see some of their other posters, which are, are really excellent. They also have all kinds of graphics for social media as does Environmental Health Trust, and we hope that you'll look at them, share them, get them out, and talk to people about this. Wireless companies warn their shareholders of risk, but not their customers, uh, nor residents who live near the antennas. So Crown Castle, for example, in their annual report says that if frequency emissions from wireless handsets or equipments in our communications infrastructure are demonstrated to cause negative health effects Potential future claims could adversely affect our operations, costs, or revenues. And we do not currently maintain any significant insurance with respect to these matters. They don't have insurance because no insurance cover company will cover the, uh, the, the cell phone manufacturers uh, in the United States because the risk is deemed high and there are multiple insurance authority reports, we have them all on our website on EH Trust, which talk about these, the rating of uh, cell phone radiation and radio frequency radiation as a high emerging risk. The latest one was Swiss Re, which ranked 5G as off the leash, I quote unquote off the leash. Um, and they talk about all of the issues with 5G in terms of uh, privacy and um, also, as the biological effects of electromagnetic fields in general, and 5G in particular, are still being debated, potential claims for health impairments may come with a long latency. So, in the meantime, um, I'm so thankful that around the world, as communities wake up to this, even go governments are taking action. And this is actually a poster from the city of Krakow, Poland, with a Let's Be Eco Digital campaign. They have had conferences bringing in international experts to talk about the biological effects of electromagnetic fields. They have uh, the, the poster you see actually says it's a family picnic without a smartphone day. They have uh, contests, fo photography contests, a day without my smartphone. Uh, and there's a Polish artist, um, Pawel, I can't because I can't read them. I apologize. Kuczynski, um, who has amazing work. Please go online and take a look at his website. It is insightful about digital technology uh, and our lives. Here is an example of a piece. And yet, what we are told and what we're fed is, and these are all ads, happy Wi-Fi, happy life. But I know that I am not the only person. I mean, it, it, I could show you reams of research on the psychosocial impacts of what technology is doing to us, how addicted we have all become, especially our children. But I think we all know it from just looking at our own lives or our grandchildren or our children. Um, or even myself. Sometimes I go online to research cell phone radiation and I come out three hours later and get lost <laughs> doing a good, important work. But did I really need to do that right then? And what did I miss during that time? 